Hi, uh, my name is Mary Gilliman and I'm uh, currently performing my third show, uh, Love on the Other Side of Death, Part 2, Meet the Rook. And that shows about how I adopted an adult of 35 at the time, uh, legally, and um, the story of his sudden death and my grief as a result. And I began writing this play when Michael was very much alive uh, and with, with his permission. <laughs> and uh, I started writing about the magical process of how uh, we became close and how I adopted him. And I said to Jessica Lynn Johnson, oh, there's nothing much happening in real life. I can't go on writing this show. I'm going to wait till real life catches up. And uh, it caught up in a way I wasn't anticipating by Michael's sudden death in February. And so concurrent with the immediacy of the death and the aftermath of Michael's death, I went back to writing the show I'd begun two years earlier. And that was pretty challenging um, because I've never felt grief like that. I lost my husband in 2015, my mother in 2018, my father in 2019, and my longest remaining friend in uh, 2021. But I had, but I trusted they were on the other side and I'd never felt the grief that I felt about uh, Michael's death. <clears throat> Just recently, I was trying to rehearse for the show that begins uh, in the star series, that, that, that's happening in the star share series in the middle of December, December the 15th. And uh, I wasn't rehearsing, I couldn't, couldn't do it. And I thought, what's going on? I, I recognized the feeling was uh, a kind of blankness about not wanting to face the grief, which meant I didn't want to face listening to my play with all the excerpts from Michael's recording and all the pictures of him. And I found myself able to process what was going on. And I realized that just after his death, writing and performing the show about him in June was uh, made me feel closer to him. It made me feel not quite as though he was still alive, but I guess he was very alive in my heart. And uh, and what what was my resistance? Sorry, that's Ventura back Boulevard in the background. My uh, resistance to looking at our story again was everything about it reminded me of his absence. Um, I do believe I'm going to meet him again when I die, but <laughs> who knows how long that's going to be, only God. So, um, yeah, I only write about my real life, my magical real life. Everything in my plays is 100% true to rea my reality. Um, and sometimes that presents a very tough uh, writing and performing situation.